Hello everyone, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Day with your Public Lands Council weekly weather update for this April 20th, 2024, brought to you by WSR Insurance Services Incorporated, also being brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors. As we go into the last days of April, what's in store? Well, really more of the same. There's some of you that really need precipitation, some of you that have gotten quite a bit, and some of you somewhere in between. So we'll take a look at what's coming over the next seven days to see where you may fit in all of this. First of all, for the Western United States, at least for areas near the high plains, the divide areas, east of the divide, it's gonna be a chilly period of weather through the weekend with a little bit of rain and snow. Maybe a little bit of needed moisture for Eastern Colorado, Kansas, Texas, parts of Oklahoma and Eastern New Mexico. A little bit of moisture coming and well below average temperatures. But by the end of the weekend and next week, Temperatures across the West will trend warmer. Now, there will be some showers, some thunderstorms, some mountain snow arriving mid to late week as we'll see another West Coast low come into the Western United States very slowly. By late next week and next weekend, a West to East flowing area of low pressure is gonna bring a unsettled pattern. And that'll be followed by another system right at the end of April into early May. So if you need rain, get some moisture, I, I see some coming especially some of the areas that have been missing out here lately. The latest drought monitor kind of showing where we've got dryness. This area of dryness has been uh, rather persistent and growing here over the last several weeks. Same for southern and eastern areas of New Mexico, Big Bend country right here. We have seen some improvements in drought conditions here over the last couple of weeks due to more frequent storm systems. And we continue to have persistent dryness at least a long-term trend of below average precipitation in this area right here. Although they have been able to pick up moisture recently and will be getting some more. As we take a look at how the weather will unfold, this is for the weekend. This high pressure ridge over Canada is gonna cause a lot of cold air out of Canada, easy access into the central, far western and eastern areas of the US. While it will be warming up in California in the Great Basin, well, it is going to be pretty cool east of the Rockies, and you'll see that here in a minute with temperatures along and east of the divide over the course of the weekend into early next week being quite cold. You can see that contrast right there between the warm and the cold. Along that boundary of contrast is where the moisture will be. Now, it's not a lot, but some need a moisture for eastern Colorado. Parts of west central Kansas will move in, light to moderate snows in those areas better rain chances for far eastern New Mexico across Texas and southern Oklahoma, while high pressure will keep only a few scant showers in the forecast for the interior west, at least through the weekend. And that's what the snowfall forecast is looking like with this first wave of colder wet weather. As we go into the end of the weekend, we're gonna have a storm move across southwestern areas of Canada. It's a quick mover, not a big one, but it will drag a cold front through, and there it is. And this will produce a little bit of shower activity across parts of the northern plains here as we get into late Sunday and Monday, while high pressure builds in right here across the Great Basin states in the desert southwest. And that high pressure is going to bring in warmer air from the desert states and a big warm up for this part of the nation right here will occur towards the middle to the end of next week. However, this low here and this low here will sort of work in unison and that will at first bring in that warmer air. See how much warmer it is with all those orange colors? This is by the middle of next week. But by next weekend, we have a slow moving trough of low pressure. This right here, this area here, we'll see areas of rain showers and thunderstorms increasing, especially right along the path of this low and just north of the low. By next Wednesday, the following Wednesday the first, look at that, we have another low coming on in. So there's opportunities for precipitation in this pattern. Wanted to quickly give you an update on where we were with La Nina and El Nino. Well, we still have, as you can see in the orange colors here, along the equator, still some warmer than average sea surface temperatures, but not nearly as warm as they were, let's say four to eight weeks ago. We're starting to see a little bit of blue here. These are colder waters forming along the equator. So while we're not in a La Nina, we're also not in an El Nino. We're in a neutral phase right now. And if we look at the predictions, you see these blue bars, we're gonna be in a full-fledged La Nina by 
probably early summer by mid to late summer by the latest. And that could play an impact on how precipitation patterns go, especially for the middle to the end of summer and into fall, something we're going to need to keep an eye on. Over the next week, you can see the precipitation forecast here is quite moist across parts of the central and northern Rockies right here. We would like to see more moisture along the I-70 corridor. I think we will. It may not necessarily be over the next five to seven days, but beyond the seven day period. So the Intermountain West and the Plains are headed towards moisture. The driest areas will be right here. Then as we take a look at the snowfall forecast, notice the snow levels are getting higher. Not nearly as much down on the plains now, but the opportunity for some snowfall is certainly going to be there, certainly in the high country, adding to some late season snowpack. Have yourself a good week ahead. Our next update will be the 27th.